This is just a sample of the audiobook. To get the complete audiobook access the link posted in the first comment. The Poetic Edda Read by Gunnar Kothri for Naxos Audiobooks Translated by Caroline Larrington The Seeress's Prophecy The Seeress's Prophecy, Verlusbau, composed mainly in the Fortnirvislagmita, is recited by a seeress who can remember before the beginning of the world, and who can see as far ahead as after Ragnarök, the doom of the gods. Olvin, father of the slain, is interrogating the seeress to find out what is to come. Her reply moves swiftly and elusively through the history of gods and men. The account begins with the creation of the earth, then time is created. The gods build temples and enjoy a golden age, until they are disrupted by three girls from giant land. This somehow leads to the creation of the dwarfs. Humanity is created, and the fates arrive. Now history begins. A mysterious female manifests herself amongst the Aesir, a woman well versed in magic. As a consequence, the Aesir find themselves at war with the Vanir. Peace is concluded, and the gods have to repair damage to Ausgarth. A giant offers to rebuild the walls in a very short space of time in exchange for the sun, moon, and Freya. The gods agree, thinking the task impossible, but the builder nearly succeeds, and Thor has to destroy him, breaking the gods' promises of safe conduct. We reach the present, with Olvin questioning the seeress about what is to come. The doom of the gods is signalled by the death of Baldur and its consequences. The end of the world by images of punishment and social collapse. Ragnarök approaches. The world ash Yggdrasil trembles, and the giants advance. Olvin is killed by the wolf Fenrir, Freyr by Surt. Thor and the Midgar serpent kill each other. Olvin is avenged by his son Vidar and the world disappears in fire. In the verses which follow, the earth rises anew from the sea, and some of the Aesir, including Baldur, return to live peacefully together. In the final verse, the sinister dragon Nidhuk is seen, as the seeress sinks out of her trance. Does evil still exist in the new world, or have we returned to the present where the dragon is a portent of Ragnarök? The seeress's prophecy is usually dated to the late 10th century, when the pagan religion was beginning to be superseded by Christianity. One scholar has suggested that the poem is a kind of sacred text of the Scandinavian religion, composed just before the beliefs were to be eradicated by Christianity. The poem exists in two rather different versions, that of the Codex Regius manuscript given here, and one in the early 14th century Hoaxbolk given in the appendix. Many of the verses are also to be found in Snorri's Edda.